Welcome back to our Biosyn Labs park build. Um, we're doing, we finished Crichtonsaurus. Fossils are processing. We need to go dig something else up. Penta? We could do the Pentaceratops idea. See if we can fit them on the little island too. The idea with the island is I'd like to push it to um, the maximum limit basically and see how much stuff we can cram on there and how good of like a compact herbivore enclosure we can make. Um, but that can also be something we do after we get the berries in. So why don't we pivot over to digging up some baryonyx? That seems fine. Yeah, I'd like a, I would really like a more involved version of the San Diego challenge mode. That was a really fun one that ended in three, less than like three hours, like, like two and a half hours or something. And it was done. That was just crazy. It was nonsense. Way too short. Definitely would like to see more of that. Okay, Barb's ready to go. Next wave. It is funny seeing them release like towards the aviary wall like that. Uh, oh, did we finish? ever finish the research? Because we do need fish. We did. One regular fish feeder requires shallow water. It do require shallow water. You're not wrong. This is probably the downside is that this feeder has like a ridiculously large footprint and fitting it in here is a pain in the ass. I would like three, thank you. Okay, there, there are three kind of spaced around. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. All right, Barbadactylus number five is new right let's look at four again four was yukon rana did we look at this one the red crest are you new no you're you're resting over here i might have missed that you know what that does sound familiar that was that like a special episode they're gonna do on netflix is that what that is i do remember hearing something about that i think i kind of forgot completely is that like another, it's supposed to be like another finger bone inside the wing? Because that's not a thing I've ever encountered before. Huh, I'm, I don't know. That really looks like additional wing supports. I mean, pterosaurs have wing supports, but they're not like bone. They're like, um, like fibrous structures that, inner thread through the wing membrane to support it. I remember reading an article about this fairly recently. That just looks like bones. That does because it's connected to the hand. That looks wrong to me. Don't I've never I've never heard of any of this bat wing shit ever actually being real. Very curious about that one. Not sure what the logic there is if that's actually what's going on. Uh Death Valley Rana so the Rana, that red black crust is pretty good. I do like that. Death Valley's fine. Barb, seven Quillian Pool Karana. Ah, I guess we gotta pause here. The camera freaks out. I really like the red on the face. The red and black's a nice look. The uh, melon crust is a little weird to pair with it though. I kind of feel like pterosaurs especially illustrate that like it'd be interesting if we had two separate patterns we could pick between. Like, like skin, pattern, and pattern. Like a pattern for the face and a pattern for the crest and separate those two. Because I kind of... Some of these I like. I like part of the pattern and not part of the rest. Yeah, but those interactive series like that, those are usually just like... Don't you like pick an option and then go to the next video? They're not... Like they did that with Black Mirror or whatever, I think. Gambia. This is a... This one is even more... Even more melon. More all all these guys look like melons. This one is this is wild with the green and the pink. That's crazy looking. Huh. Oh yeah, you can really see the like the structures here in this wing. Ah, oh, that's gonna bug me now if that's supposed to be a freaking finger in there. That's weird. I'll have to do some research into pterosaur wings to see if any of them support any evidence of a finger inside the membrane beyond the obvious the extended wing finger. Gambia calcarana. I do like the base color. This melon, this is a good melon. Yeah, I'm aware of Spider-Man. 
He's Peter Parker. Oh my God! Don't tell anybody. I told you. Uh, mangrove forest pelophylax. Ooh, this one's. This is a good one-two colorization. Like this crest actually kind of matches the body color. I really like this one. This is the winner of the beauty contest so far. I think this one's great looking. Yeah, that one's got it, it's got a natural feel to it. Like I could see this thing swooping down out of the sky and like carrying away my dog. I could totally see that happening. Very realistic. Cool. Uh, you guys still happy? Yeah, you got tons of sand and forest. You guys are just happy as pigs and shit. Awesome. Okay, so carnos are not murdering anybody yet. Um, fossils are almost done here. What else do we need to put in? Majungs could go back in, but I think I want to wait and leave the Majungasaurs alone and see if they get murdered. So I don't really want to put more in. Yeah. I guess the other thing to do would be to put in... I guess we could put in some high dominance Majungs too and see what happens. If they kill the Carnos? Because the database could be wrong. Let's do that. Let's get some Majungs going. Fifty, fifty. It looks like we need. Save an exit. Um, well, we money doesn't matter past a certain point, so a trillion dollars would achieve nothing. What was I doing? Let's go look at something. Now I got just I forgot what I was doing. Oh, uh, genetics points. We're short one genetics. Um, well, it's not like we really have anybody with genetics here so much. We can do a four and a three. That's fine. Let's do you. Four and a three. Confirm. Synthesizing. Majung. Assign. Seven. Oh, I was not a four and a three. Well, now the seven's back and none of that mattered anyway. Whatever. We'll do you. Wasted points, doesn't matter. Um, I don't remember if you get an achievement for the new challenge modes. You do get an achievement for the original ones. No, the new challenge modes don't seem to come with an achievement. Although maybe the achievement changes. That's possible. Complete Jurassic Park Chaos Theory. Uh, Jurassic Difficulty. Complete Challenge 1, 2, 3, 5. Yeah, so the original five challenges have achievements for completing them and completing them on Jurassic. And then I think the new ones don't have achievements. I have everything unlocked for achievements. So, yeah, it looks like there's a Biosyn campaign achievement, but there's nothing for difficulty. So the new challenge modes are literally just for fun, which props to them for actually doing that. Glad to see that kind of stuff. Um, social fit, social nocturnal, humble fit. Not great. We'll do another batch. Fish for that alpha. We actually do want the alpha just for science. I suppose the Consideration would be actually what the dominance of those Majungs is like. Because if their dominance is too high... Well, no. You know what? If the Majungs kill the Carnos, that's actually kind of okay for science. Because we learn. We learn that the database is wrong. And that is an important thing to learn. Let's hatch these two. Two new Majungasaurs. Majungas are also asocial in that they can just be alone. Um, there should be an achievement for the original five challenges specifically. Yeah, if you didn't get it, you can try and reload and see if it works. Um, something definitely went wrong. Barbadactylus release number three, wave three. Uh, 
Svalbard Kalkarana. Sure, it's a, it's a, it's a Barbadaculus. Yukon's got that nice face on him. Ooh, the Popo, very yellow. The yellow and black is a good look for a Pterosaur, for sure. Crest color doesn't really mesh with it, though. Blank Gambia. Honestly, Blank Gambia is not bad, either. For a blank. Amazon Rainforest and Rana. So this is the very pink with the Rana pattern. Actually, pretty good. The pink blending into the red with the different black highlights is pretty solid. Not bad at all. Um... Is the crew happy? Oh, they're still still great. So, dominance check on these guys. So, dominance 46, 93, 37, 93, 90, 90-ish. 90 okay. So most of these are around 90. So I want another pterosaur to put in here with a dominance of around 90. Let's check Sierra Dactylus to start with. Oh wait, you can just check dominance from the database uh, main window. So, just start at the top. Sierra Dactylus dominance is 46. Demorphodon 34. Well, it's not going to be Demorphodon. We're not going to do a small one. We're just going to assume the dominance is not going to work. 83 Geosternbergia. That might work. Just in Bergia is high tier though, so I don't we might have to unlock that. 76 Mardactylus could work. Actually, that's not bad. Cause if we get some traits on them, we could actually experiment. If we do 20% on 76, that's plus 15. That's actually perfect. Mardactylus it is. Nope, we generally, we do, we record ARC on Wednesdays and ARC uploads, um, well, historically has uploaded Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, but recently we haven't been getting four episodes out of a session because we've been so close to the end. Um, and that's why the uploads for ARC have been centered on the weekend, but more sporadic than usual. Uh, Fossil's finished, right? So we have Crichtonsaurus now. So Crichtonsaurus is another confinement experiment. Oh, we have one left. We have one more fossil to extract, actually. Crichton's done, but we've not finished the genome. Um, yeah, that's another experiment in how small of an enclosure we can make. Uh, we'll just cram a Polacanthus amber in here. Uh, many, many, many years. 20 years, something like that. So, yeah, we'll get these guys rested. We'll grab fiber all right I'm not gonna synth that second batch but we're not gonna delete it we'll let that go oh and then we need to dig so let's go let's pivot over to Mardactylus actually That has to be research, so we'll just sick some people on that. I guess we can go back then for Barry, actually, in that case. Wait, isn't there two Barry dig sites? Or am I thinking of, like, there it is. Yeah, there's two. It was just obscured. Well, you're welcome. I appreciate the positive reinforcement, for sure. It's up to people to follow and or subscribe. Uh... That's on them. As a general rule, I don't push for people to do that kind of stuff. Because I've always found it obnoxious in other people's content when they beg for subscribers and stuff. So, all right. Two fresh Majungasaurs. These will be the highest dominance dinosaurs in this pen, I believe, right? <laughs> So we'll see what they do. So far the Carnos have not killed anything. I'm gonna double check the Majung page here. Let's look at their, their dominance rating. So 136, 171. So six is the the king shit of this pen. Yep. 
The uh, that's true of I think all sauropods except for maybe a Marga and Nigrosaurus. Uh, and then generally true with anything that's a smallish carnivore that doesn't pack hunt. So like Dilophosaurus will kill an Elmosaurus or Velociraptor will, but since the Australovenators do not pack hunt, they can actually safely live with a sauropod, no problem. Um, that's what I suspected was true, and it's good to verify that it is true. I wanted to check the Carnos again for the highest dominance score. Dominance 180, actually. So that's actually better than the Majun. Really? Hmm. Okay. Well, still, this one's much higher than the low, the low end um, Carnotaurus. So, if it can prey on the Carnotaurus, which it should not be able to, if the database information is correct, um, it should still, we should still see something if there is something to see. This is a good looking Majungasaurus too, by the way. I like this like brighter orange around the eye and then this brown orange body, definitely Calcarana. Good look. Champlain Pulcarana, also a good Majung. That's a good looking Majung too. I like the red and the green with the kind of, I don't know if you'd say these are black stripes, just really, ah, uh, gray. We'll call it gray. Gray fading to like purple. That's a good look. Those are both really good. Comfort actually 83? Oh, it actually is 83. So these guys were, I guess, pretty particular. Although maybe the, um, we'll just cram some rocks in the water. It's probably the best option there. Maybe the alpha hasn't taken over properly. I mean, they haven't fought, so... No, this is tolerant. Oh, tolerant social. Yeah, tolerant. Dominance 126. He should. He will lose, and then they'll be better off. So we could probably ignore the tree issue. 91% is fine. And there's no storms on this map. So yeah, we'll, we'll ignore the trees. Yeah, that would be... It would be... F Interesting just to have different behaviors like that. Like, the, have the Majungs have, like, I don't know. I, I don't know how you do it, because dinosaurs, well, at least used to be able to kill each other in fights anyway. So that would just happen again. But maybe there'd be, like, a hunting mechanic where Majungs could hunt themselves or something. Like, if they were hungry they had and there was no food around, they would turn on each other more quickly than most other dinosaurs would. That would work. Um, let's take care of these cranes now that the genome is complete. So, dice roll, a dice roll. Ooh, five available modifications, and they are antisocial and anti humble. Gross. Okay, so we want the humble social alpha, so we're gonna have to do some work to get that. Um, so, we're gonna be aborting a lot of these clutches of eggs, I think. You take a rest. And we didn't have, no, we do have enough to process. We'll clear this out too. That's worth clearing. That's enough, enough stuff that it gets in the way. I, I'm really torn on that. I never liked the hybrids. I never used them, but I do feel like it's very weird that they aren't in the game. Um, it's not important to me that they come back. I just don't know what their personal motivation was to not put them in, basically. Other than, like, effort upscaling them or something. It just seems weird to leave anything out. Oh, yeah, the Mara Tap and Sarah all cohabit the same dig site. Which is a little obnoxious. Um, so we're going to have to dig up a bunch of pterosaur fossils to get those Marodactylus. But Marodactylus has the right statistics to toss in with the barbs and see what happens so it's still the one i want yeah i wouldn't have been opposed to seeing another spinosaur day in uh in the game
They got the big three that actually have like franchise presence at least, but Ichthyovenator would have been a good one because Ichthyovenator falls into a really nice mid place in terms of anatomy between like Suchomimus and Baryonyx versus Spinosaurus with still having some uh, sail-like structures going on. What just finished? Our Crichton's just finished. Defensive humble. Social humble. First goddamn try. Unbelievable. Two of them. Two of them. First try. Actually, really good that we get a defensive one, too. That's incredible. Um, what is these guys social at? So, Crichtonsaurus is Minpop 3. So, we want four of these guys. I guess we could just hatch these four. Doesn't matter that one's skittish. It won't be alpha anyway. Wow, I thought we were going to be here rolling clutch after clutch to try and get this to work. But no, we get it just right away. That's that's crazy. Sue. Sue, Sue, Sue. Let's start that enclosure. Pause there for a second. So this is going to be another invisible fence enclosure like every other one we've done. We're going to put it in right next to the copies currently. Let's start with just a square and go from there see if that works and if not expand um, yeah I'm aware of dinosaur another uh, showing for Carnotaurus in popular media let's put a viewing dome on this not because we need it but because we want it to be consistent um, with the copy enclosure and it cuts off part of the area, I think, when it's put in. I'm actually not sure if this little protrusion here that the viewing area has actually does count against your space, but I suspect it would. Uh, we could technically test that, but I have no reason to think it doesn't. I'm more interested in just comparing how small of enclosures we can make. That's, that's what interests me, actually. And that's going to be four minutes. All right. Uh, we're not currently doing a dig, so I guess that finished, huh? I kind of missed that. Sometimes they go really fast and you don't notice. Or at least I don't notice. Mardactylus. 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 Um, and a Baryonyx fossil. We'll throw it in the mix. Why not do that? Okay. I thought we could check some of the cohab stuff. So specifically like the coelophysis maybe is the thing to look at. Because the coelos, I don't know what they think about herbivores actually. Let's check the coelos. It's actually kind of funny because dinosaur also has iguanodon in it, which is actually one of my favorite uh, Herbivores. I mean, they're no Styracosaurus, but they're still pretty cool. Oh, there's a seal. Nope, that's a straight bait. I want a seal of physis. Don't smash the Jeep. You know what? We can't. Let's back up. We're going to get damaged, and we can't repair this. We need to specifically catch one from in here, from inside the enclosed area. Well, they're all panicking now, which is a good chance to maybe drive a Coelophysis over here. Well, they destroyed a, uh, a ranger team somewhere in the park, somehow. Where did this happen? Oh, in here. This Australivinator has completely destroyed this car, probably because it got stuck like an idiot, I would imagine. Buy a new vehicle and yeah, replace these idiots. We'll have to keep an eye on that if they're getting stuck on um, trees. We have two Triassic dinosaurs, right? Coelophysis and Herrerasaurus. And then Ichthyosaurus is Triassic, but not a dinosaur, of course. Um, and then beyond that, I don't know if we have any other Triassic creatures. Demetrodon is Permian. Yeah, I don't remember if any of the Plesiosaurs are Triassic. 
I suspect they are not. We can actually check that. Late Triassic is Coelophysis Herrerasaurus Ichthyosaurus. And yeah, that's the only Triassic stuff we have. We need a uh, Mosaurus would be great. Uh, or Platysaurus or both. Um, some Prosauropods are like really missing. They're really like noticeably absent in this game. Uh, Coelophysis. So yeah, first off, Struthies. Cohab, 50% is just the Coelophysis. These guys are still like way out here. I guess we'll have to wait and try to... Oh, oh no, we got information. Yeah, so the Coelophysis are already over on Cohab. What is your neck doing, my dude? What is that? What the dog doing? He's like, his neck is like broken. Oh, he's like jumping sideways. Okay, so the Coelophysis are already unhappy with this enclosure. So I think we should actually remove the Coelophysis from this. So like the first experiment basically, basically is Coelophysis with Struthiomimus and Styracosaurus. A success. The Struthies panic, but the Coelophysis never hunt anything. The second experiment we do here is cohabitation. In how good of an exhibit can we make here? And as long as the Coelophysis are in this enclosure, um, it won't be perfect because they'll be having cohabitation issues. So we're going to sell them to the dog food factory and remove them. And that way we can put some more uh, dinosaurs in here. We'll put in Pentaceratops, and we'll probably push some other herbivores in there and see what we can do with it. Just a big science experiment, right? It's the name of the game. It's the name of the park build. Dig team waiting for space. Crichtonsaurus, one minute. The, I'm surprised none of the fights. I really expected there to be fights because we've seen these guys fight before. Something is inconsistent. Oh, also, we should look at the perch points in here. So this rock has three on it. The rest of them do seem to be airborne. So only one rock is in use. This rock is the only rock currently in use. It'll be interesting to see if that is true. If all the Barbarodactylus flock to that rock. This one's drinking. Where are they? Okay, so there's a rock there. Nope, this one landed on this rock. Okay, so that they have like a favorite rock currently, but no, the other rocks are being used. This one's about to land. Or yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Don't look at him. He's got he's got he's he's embarrassed. He's got stage fright, okay? Just, just. He's not, he's not, uh, he's not good at this. It's his first time trying to land on a rock. We're embarrassing him. All right, clearing out the Coelophysis. There are more here. I'll cut you later, Dino. Thanks for coming by. More Coelophysis, more... How many Coelos do we have? Nine? Maybe it was like nine. Hmm. Unless I flag some of those to wake up on accident. Not sure. It could be that it, I accidentally woke some up. No, we have nine. Nine is correct. Okay. So, apparently they're having trouble getting some of these guys. There's one, sell you. It's actually fairly interesting. This, this island structure, you could probably do an entire park like this. With the, with the Biosyn viewing galleries and lagoons as your barriers. Should be kind of interesting. You'd have to have a little, a little, you know, encampment like this, and you'd have to make sure your vehicles don't get damaged or you're in trouble. 
In fact, I don't like this one being right next to the gate. I know that the gate being open actually doesn't matter, but aesthetically it bothers me. I don't know if we can actually close that gate. I think the cars are just going to be too close in general. Crunch. <laughs> Crunch. Me parking. Haha. -ha. Okay. And fossils are uh, not being done again because I got distracted again. Oh my god. Um... Whatever. Do that. Doesn't really matter which ones we process as long as we're just processing fossils. There we go. Okay, Crichtons are ready. Release via airlift. Um, let's get these up near the front so we can get a lake in here. Then we'll have to get them settled in, see if they are going to fit. Crichton number one. Uh, the Crichton Saurus. Named after the author. Michael Crichton, yes, we know. Okay, so we know trees are better here. Um, but first off, fruit, leaf, and nuts. Fruit. And fiber nut leaf so these are like yeah all mutually like exclusive so ground leaf ground fruit that's a two on fruit though we have no choice in the matter Fruit is always obnoxious to get into your park. Michael Crichton, famous for his stories about infectious viruses, sentient nanobots, and also a novel on ancient animals. Ha ha, they're talking about Jurassic Park. I quite enjoy. Funny. This is a social dinosaur that does well in groups. Um, they're actually perfect. That's actually incredible. Asset has been delivered. Oh, did I just crash the game? I just crashed the game. Or the game crashed on its own. I feel like I, I just hit the pause button when it crashed. And I think I unpaused when it crashed last time. This is not entirely coincidental. Fun! Why are we crashing here now? Are there different kinds of crashes? Because they're like hangs and then crash. They're not straight crash to desktops like we're getting before. All right, let's pause this video. Well, we're back. I don't know if this is a new batch of fossils or this is what we processed before, but um, we'll get some cleared out here. I'm not sure. I didn't really check the load, see what we missed out on. The Crichtons are not flagged for release yet. But that's probably fine, because we're talking about other stuff. Oh, uh, the Coelophysis are all gone. Okay, that's good. Let's get rid of this meat feeder. This doesn't need to be here. Delete you. Okay, so this enclosure was actually going to be perfect um, and too big. So let's shrink it down by about half, if we can. I mean, maybe there's effectively a min size to the enclosures. Can this go through the water? It can. Okay, so let's do two levels. We'll put them in here we'll and then expand them, them out. The more content they are being under our care. That's a plus for both of us. Asset 
I actually can't deploy this one. Hmm, we might have to hold here. <laughs> Wait for one of them to get dropped off. So that we can actually click in this enclosure somewhere. That's really funny. That's really funny. We can make can, can we make an enclosure so small we can't actually put anything in it. Apparently, apparently we can sort of. All right, I hear the first one coming over, so we'll be able to drop this off pretty soon. Also, we can go do a dig, apparently. I would like to go do that, but you know, I gotta just drop off this goddamn Kratosaurus. Okay, there's the one. Any minute now. Wait, is it really obstructed still? You gotta be kidding. Wait, 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 you gotta be fucking joking. You can't deliver if it's too close to another one? Named after the author, Michael Crichton. That's baffling. Famous for his stories about That's baffling. Viruses. Okay. He just had to move to the side. We were able to sneak it in there. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Area? 0 0.08. Actually took over the whole area. Water is sufficient. Um, area is going to not work. So we do have to expand this out. So delete that section. And then we can work on those plants again. Some ground leaf, some fruit, and some ground nuts. Wait, nope, we lost leaf. You know what? Ancient it's fine. Box. He'll find it. Oh, there we go. And, also a novel on ancient animals. and the water will be good when he moves. Boom. I quite enjoyed. All right, let's this get some trees in here. That does well in groups. That is a compact a mixed vegetation exhibit that is certainly something to behold kind of wild okay they're really close on forest Stick with a decorative tree seems to be the thing to do. Basically just need to catch them when they're not nearby. And we're good to go. What a wild little exhibit we've built. So yeah, Crichton Source exhibit looks like it can be much smaller than um, the compies. Now we're not above the population limit yet, but we are at it. So this is already pretty good. There's the last one. Oh, now they're just over on area. Really? Do we lose the right alpha, maybe? Humble social. Humble social defensive. It's not the right alpha, but they are humble social. Hmm. Well, I kind of liked the exhibit before. Could we, I mean, we could expand it a little bit, probably. 
Let, let's try and do it with the floor. Let's pause here because the car is trying to die. Can we, if we go a little bit further, that's probably not bad. But still a good deal smaller. Uh, is this car being actually destroyed? No, it's fine. It's fine. Fine-ish. Kind of fine. Barely. Update. Thank you. Update. Thank you. Move. Expand your territory, dummies. You're, you're literally in the new section. Also, you can kind of see them move a little jankier when they're in this limited space, which is funny. They, uh, they really don't want to update that territory, do they? All right, well, we'll let them do their thing. We'll check back on them in a second. We've, uh, we've let fossils lie fallow for far too long. Tapajara, not what I'm here for. Mardactylus, Mardactylus, Sierra. That Baryonyx might be close to complete too, huh? Yeah, not quite. 2% off. I guess we can pivot over and finish that soon too. I mean, the, it, the Baryonyx alone doesn't really achieve anything because it needs all its friends for the experiment to actually happen. So getting the Maras makes more sense still. Um, all right, there that goes. Have you guys updated? Sorry, what is your territory like now? Like, you're literally, there you go. There you go. There you go. Still short on area, technically. Okay. Well, they need more forest. I wonder if adding trees actually reduces area? Hmm. It might be that they hadn't fully like updated their area requirement when they were being delivered or something. Let's just do one of these. Thank you. Further expansion. I think we can get some more trees in here. Like the trees have a footprint, so it's certainly possible they count against area. Although we're good now, it's still an impressively small enclosure. So, um, it's still pretty good for that reason. Bam! And it looks like, yeah, they're just kind of like right on the limit for area. Cool. Well, it's a little dark out. We'll check out the Crichtons in the morning. What the fuck? They all simultaneously abandoned the goat feeder and became cranky. Like, why is that even a thing that can happen? That's ridiculous. That's actually a bit frustrating that that's even possible. How much fucking forest do you idiots need? Oh my gosh, Alamosaurus, you're killing me, buddies. And you're missing Talma now. Mm. 
All right, you just need to move around. You're just you're just too clumped up. That's all it is. Vehicle fucking destroyed. What were you doing in here so long that you got destroyed, you idiot? Idiot. Now you're sick because of car. You got car parts inside of you. Ah, these guys, I tell ya. Babysit in the damn carnivores and I just want to play torture my herbivores. I'm putting them in the smallest pen. To be fair, they're not tortured. They're happy. They're happy here. Let's, let's be serious. Death Valley Lethal Baits. Mangrove Lethal Baits. We can't see you because you're under a tree. That would be impossible. That's literally as close as the camera will let us kind of get to them. Oh, there we go. We had to finagle it in there. Sure, these are all pretty plain. Champlain Rana and Quillian Pulka Rana. Yeah, they're all, that's that's about all you can get from Crichton Sauruses. Still, they have a very definitive niche in your park builds. Uh, it's called the tiniest exhibit you can imagine. All right. Do we have anything else we were supposed to look at for skins? I don't think so. Oh my God, it's tainted, tainted meat. Disinfect that feeder ASAP, my dude. We're gonna have problems. Medical team's still struggling to get over there somehow. Did we, like, mess this up by putting in too many trees or something, maybe? Did they get confused and stuck? Because this is this... Like, that, that's something we gotta... Well, I mean, they're also just apparently aggro shit, to be fair, so... Broken Claw. That's an easy fix, right? That's just a, that's just a spray. Just kiss the boo-boo and you'll be fine. Okay. Um, distracted again away from fossils. Park science. You know, at least at least there's enough interesting stuff still going on in this park build in this like late stage that we're able to be distracted. Also, not a single Meridactylus fossil in this batch. Uh, incredibly rude. Uh, very disappointing. Oh, Meridactylus is done. What am I talking about? I did not realize. All right, well, we'll start on those Mardactylus and then uh, we can end this episode. Let's get them queued up. I want the freaking hatchery, thank you. Synthesize, Mardactylus. So, oh, this thing has a chance at strong. Definitely need to get rid of the intolerant. So we got 25% chance at strong. We could just not do strong. We want like a, what did I say, a 20 percenter? Hold on. I gotta check this again. Mardactylus. Seventy-six. Yeah, so we want a 20 percenter. 20% dominance boost. Which one's 20%? I don't know if I can see it from that menu. Social is 20%. So let's do social. So social, do not hatch strong Mardactylus. That's what we're doing here. Um, three available modifications. 100% social. Save and exit. Assign scientists. Five, ten. Begin. Assign scientists. Maradactylus. Seven, five. Seven, three. Begin. Assign Maradactylus. Five, four, two. Go. There we go. So three clutches of them on the way, and we'll get those Maras out next time and see uh, how the Pterosaurs get along.